V B N The Rich Video Blog Network Home to Weekly NFL Predictions Great Personality Profiles Great Professional Wrestling Blogs Great Sports Video Blogs Great MBTA Video Blogs And a whole lot more Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites. Check it out. RVBN. The only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 8.18 in the evening in Bellwicker, Massachusetts. It's about 46 degrees. Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog subject of the night. Tonight is going to be about the MSG House Show card from 6-14-1986 after the news from the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. The New York football giants have put the franchise tag on Jason Pierre Paul. And also the Washington Redskins are on the verge of putting the franchise tag on quarterback Kurt Cousins. Um, there's been big rumors going around that ESPN has met with Katie Nolan about going to the worldwide leader in sports. Katie Nolan's contract with F FS1 doesn't expire to another 18 months, but her garbage time show has been put on hiatus, exactly canceled, I think. And FS1 might not have anything for K to do, so ESPN is trying to scrab her. And Matt and Jeff Hardy have not signed a new TNA contract. Could they be WWE bound? Who knows? And there's been a report that when WBIN um, TV50 shuts down sometime in the summer, that Antenna TV might venture to one of the sub-channels from for either WHDH or WSBK TV 38. That's good. That's about it on the news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in the flash with the MSG House Show card we view for the WWE on Jan July, I mean June 14th, 1986. Tomorrow on the RVBN Video blogs. First video blog will be about the top 10 greatest coaches and managers in LA sports history. Second video blog of the day will be about um, NBA inside stuff. And the third and final video blog subject of the night will be about the MSG WWE House Show card from 7 12 86. That's it for that. Angelo can go to Market Basket today to scratch off millions of scratch tickets. He'll win nothing. Mario, say hello. I'm back. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about the WWE House Show card from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, on June 14th, 1986. The main event was King Kong Bundy facing off against the Junkyard Dog, or what the writer for the Wrestling Observer, Dave Meltzer, would call him, the Junk Food Dog, plus exciting matches on this card. It was on the MSG Network, called by Guerrero Monsoon, and his lordship, Alfred Hayes. And here's what happened. The first match was Jimmy Jack Funk with the mouth of the south, Jimmy Hart in his corner, facing off against Tony Garea, who basically is a job to stars. And nothing to write home about. Jimmy Jack Funk won it in about like 10 minutes with a power slam. Tony could Korea did the J-O-B at the MSG. The next match was the Iron Sheik, former WWE champion, facing off against 
Pedro Morales is what about it? Uh, 11 minute match, just like back and forth, back and forth. And then had the, uh, um, the Iron Sheik throw the referee, push the referee. You don't push any referee in the WWE because if you push a referee, the match is over. You're automatically disqualified. So, Sheiky Baby lost by disqualification to Pedro Morales. The next match were the Moon Dogs, Rex and Spot against the new US Express, Mike Rotundo and Dan Spivey. And this was basically, you know, a competitive match by the Moondogs. But in the end, Mike um, Rotundo gives Rex the airplane spin and beats him. One, two, three. The next match was George the Animal Steel with Captain Lou Banner's corner facing off against Nikolai Volkov. Before the match, Nikolai Volkov saying, the Russian National Anthem, he got a chorus booze from MSG. And this was not too much of a match, about four minutes, but it's kind of a comedy match. George Steele gets a chair from Captain Lou Albano, and he uses it um, on Nikolai Volkov, hits him right in front of the referee. That's an automatic disqualification. Nikolai wins. The next match was a midget, midget match. It was Cowboy Lang against Lord Littlebrook. And the midgets always have fun matches. And they, like, sometimes step on the referee. This was laughs. But Cowboy L Lang rolled up Lord Littlebrook for the one, two, three. The next match was a tag team match. It was Tito Santana and the living legend Bruno San Martino donning the tights for this one. Facing off against Macho Man Randy Savage with Miss Elizabeth in his corner and adorable Adrian Adonis with the mouth of himself Jimmy Hart in his corner. And this was, you know, Basically, a decent tag team match ending had Randy Savage give the double axe handle to Bruno San Martino outside the arena and Tito Santana. Both of them were out for the king count. Savage and Adonis win this one, but afterwards Tito and Bruno come back in the ring and they chase off Savage and Adonis. The next match was George Wells facing off against Hoss Funk with Jimmy the Mouth of the South in his corner. Hoss Funk is Dory Funk Jr. from the NWA World Champion. But he had to use Hoss Funk as his name. And actually, Hoss was jo Dory Funk Jr.'s nickname. And this match was, you know, basically six minutes or so. Dory wins the match by, you know, having his knees when George was, was the left trying to deliver a splash. George Wells falls down and Dory covers him. One, two, three. The next match was King Tonga who eventually became King Haku and Ming facing off against Big John Studd with Bobby the Brain Heenan in his corner. This was only about a three and a half minute match. And both Studd and Tonga fought outside the ring and the referee counted one two three four five six seven eight nine ten counting both wrestlers out of the ring the next match was leaping lanny poffle facing off against handsome holly race with Bobby the Brain Heen in his corner. This was Holly Race's first match at Madison Square Garden in about six years. That last time he wrestled, he wrestled Bob Backlund in a title versus title match in 1980. And um, this was a very competitive match. Lanny Poffo did some high flying maneuvers, almost pulled up the F set with. Um, Holly Race, but in the end, ha Holly Race puts the fisherman suplex for 
the perfect plex on Lanny for the one, two, three. And the main event was King Kong Bundy with Bobby the Brain Heenan facing off against the junk yard dog. And this was a disaster of a main event, you know, a lot of stalling. In the end, Bobby the Brain Heenan interferes, costing, um, you know, right in front of the referee. Junk Yard Dog wins this match and Bundy attacks him and Bundy was going to deliver the avalanche to King Kong Bundy but he moved out of the way and Bobby Heenan got the avalanche. And his Madison Square Garden house show card was not was a C-. minus. There was no Hulk Hogan on here so the wrestlers on this card didn't get a bigger payday than if, it, if Hogan was on the card. Tomorrow's um, house show card I'll be re revealing from MSG happened on um, on July 12th, 1986. The main event was a steel cage match. Bruno San Martino and Tito Santana against Randy Savage and Adorable Adrian Adonis plus a 22-man battle royal with a surprise winner and this winner um, hid under the ring for most of the, the battle royal. Can't tell you who it is. We'll find out tomorrow. Keep calm, everybody. And I'm a truly buttoned guy. Wally Rose, brother, the BCC, all rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hunt is so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy's Wheezy's awesome, awesome Amy. Linda Judge of WBIX Channel. Love New York, such a wacky cool. It's got the best legs in New York City, bar none. Bobby Gibbs of ABC Live and House, a sweet southern accent. Best legs of Holly, North Carolina. Melissa from the Delta Kilt in Bill Ricker is nice. And she's got the best legs in the Delta Kilt. And Red Clay of WHGH channels up in Boston is such a cute lady blonde. Best legs in Boston. And in the words of the E. Patel last week, no bus. Good night, everybody. So